Hello guys, my name is Bino and in this video we'll be focusing on question 6 from the April 1st, 2020 and 6 mathematics question paper. Question 6.1, we are to determine the curve length of y is equal to 9 minus x squared from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3. And the following formula sheet from the formula sheet, the curve length is equal to s is equal to integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared dx and we choose the one which has dx because our boundaries are x x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 and we don't choose the one which has dx but it has two derivatives because we are not given a parametric equation. We are only given one equation, y is equal to 9 minus x squared. So we have to differentiate this y. We square it and then we add 1 to it. So we have y is equal to 9 minus x squared. So we differentiate this with respect to x. So the derivative of that 9 will be equal to 0. And the derivative of this negative x squared will be equal to negative to x so inside the square root they square this dy over dx so since dy over dx is equal to negative 2x we will also square this negative 2x and this will be equals to 4x squared and they also added the 1 so let's add 1 to our dy over dx squared And now we can take this 4x squared plus 1, which is equal to 1 plus dy over dx squared, and substitute it into our formula. We have s is equal to the integral from, our integral is from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3, of the square root of 4x squared plus 1. dx and to evaluate this integral we have to use the formula sheet and this is the formula that we have on our formula sheet so we have the integral of x squared plus or minus b squared dx is equal to that so we have to make sure that this this integral that we have matches this one as you can see this one does not have a coefficient of it does not have a term before the x squared it only has one as the coefficient of the x squared but we have four as the coefficient of the x squared so we have to kind of like manipulate this integral so that it can fit what we have on our formula sheet so we can rearrange this by taking this four as our common factor so that we can have one as the coefficient of x squared We have 1 over 4 so that if we are to distribute back the 4, that 4 multiplied by that 1 over 4 will be equal to 1. So as we can see, we have a multiplication between the 4 and the square root of and the parenthesis of x squared plus 1 over 4. So what we can do is to separate the 2 so that we can have the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of x squared plus 1 over 4 dx so the square root of 4 is equal to 2 so we can write this 2 this square root of 4 out of the integral because it's not attached to any x it's just a constant so we'll have two times the integral of integral of x squared plus 1 over 4 dx so from here we can see that this almost suits what we have here so this does not have a coefficient of x squared even this one does not have a coefficient of x squared but we have to write that one over four in that standard form in that b squared standard form so this will be equals to that two the integral from zero to three of x squared plus one over two squared 
dx. So in this case, according to what we have here, b will be equals to 1 over 2, and b squared will be equals to 1 over 1 over 4. So this integral will be equals to, so we first take our 2, and we determine the, the integral. So this integral will be x over 2, multiplied by the square root of x squared so they say plus or minus so each so here they have plus and then there they start with the plus so it's not minus or plus so we, we can drop this negative so if this was negative inside then we we're gonna go with the negative so we can drop this negative signs so this will be plus b squared which is equal to 1 over 4 plus b squared which is 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 lean of x plus the square root of x squared plus b squared x squared plus our b squared is equal to 1 over 4 and our integral is from 0 to 3 so we can Try to simplify this, so let's distribute these two inside the parentheses. So these two multiplied by this will be equal to x. So this this two and that two will cancel out each other. So we'll have x x squared plus one over four plus this four. Okay, this two will also cancel out with that two, and we'll be left with the one over four lean of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 over 4 from 0 to 3 so now let's substitute now let's substitute the 3 and the 0 where there is x so we start with the 3 3 multiplied by the square root of 3 squared plus 1 over 4 so in the place of x we substitute the 3 plus 1 over 4 lean of 3 plus the square root of 3 squared plus 1 over 4 minus so now we substitute 0 where there is x but when we substitute 0 where there is this x 0 multiplied by this whole thing will nullify this whole thing and this whole thing will be 0 and we have the 1 over 4 lean of 0 so there is no need for us to substitute that 0, so this will be 0 plus the square root of 0 plus 1 over 4, which is 1 over 4. So from here, we use our calculator. So we multiply by the square root of 3 squared, squared plus 1 over 4, plus 1 over 4, multiplied by the of 3 plus the square root of 3 squared plus 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4, multiplied by the of the square root of 1 over 4. And since this was the length, so we're just gonna use u for the SI unit, which they will put. So we just put the u for unit. Question 6.2 We have to calculate the surface area generated when the curve x is equal to y cube for y is from 0 to 1 is rotated about the y axis. So this is the formula that we use from the formula sheet. So s is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the integral of x multiplied by 1 plus dx over dy squared dy from a to b so we use the formula for dy because our limits our boundaries are in the form of y so if you want to use the formula which has the x you have to convert this boundary to suit that of x so you substitute this zero where there is y so that you can get the lower limit and substitute that one where there is y so that you can get the upper limit and convert this y and make y the subject of the formula that is if you don't want to use this formula which has the y you want to use the one which has the x but since we already have this in 
y form let's just continue using this formula so we have to differentiate the x with respect to y and we have to square it and plus it with the one so let's do that before we can even substitute it inside the square root so we have x is equal to y cube so we differentiate so x is equal to y cube so that's what we have so let's differentiate the x with respect to y so the derivative of this y cube will be equal to 3 y squared and this dx over dy we have to square it so let's square the 3y squared because it's equals to dx over dy and this will be equals to 9y to the power 4 and we have to add 1 to it so plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so what you do on the left you also do on the right so in the place of this 1 plus dx over dy squared we will substitute 9y to the power 4 plus 1 so we have s is equal to the surface area is equal to 2 pi integral from 0 to 1 so we are diff we are integrating with respect to y so we have we have to change this x because so the x is equal to y cube so in the place of this x we will substitute what the x is equal to and in this case it's equal to y cube and that so we substitute 9 y to the power 4 plus 1 and you can also express this as 2 pi the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of 9 or y to the power 4 plus 1 because multiplication is commutative we can write that y cube there dy so to integrate this we have to let u so we let u equal 9y to the power 4 plus 1 so this will be our u we differentiate the u with respect to y so 4 multiplied by 9 will be equal to 36 y to the power 3 and the derivative of so the derivative of this 9y to the power 4 is 36 multiplied by y cube and the derivative of this one will be equal to 0 so we are using the u substitution method because when we differentiate this u we get y which has the same power as the y which we have outside of the square root so if we didn't have this y we are not going to be allowed if we didn't have this y cube we were not going to allow be allowed to use the u substitution method we are going to use another method but since we have that y cube and when we differentiate this y to the power 4 we get y cube so we can use the u substitution method so du over dy is equal to 36 y cube we multiply both sides by dy so that that dy will cancel out with that dy and du will be equal to 36 y cube multiplied by dy so we have y cube dy here and we also have y cube dy but that, that one it does not have this 36 so let's divide both sides by 36 so du over 36 will be equal to y cube dy so in the place of this y cube dy we will substitute du over 36 because du over 36 is equal to y cube dy so our new integral so s will be equals to 2 pi from 0 to 1 and we say that in the place of 9y to the power 4 plus 1 we substitute u and in the place of the y cube dy we substitute the du over 36 so we have s is equals to 2 pi so that 36 that 1 over 36 let's write it here out of the integral because it's a constant and the square root of u we can express it as u to the power 1 over 2 du so now we have to integrate we have to integrate this u raised to the power 1 over 2 
and the 2 divided by 36 is equals to is equals to 18 and we have to integrate the u to the power 1 over 2 so the integral of u to the power 1 over 2 will be equals to u to the power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 or multiplied by 2 over 3 so you can divide by the 3 over 2 or you can multiply by 2 over 3 and our integral is from 0 to 1 but this 0 to 1 belongs to y it does not belong to u so let's substitute back we substitute back 9y to the power 4 plus 1 in the place of the u and we raise that to the power 3 over 2 because the u was raised to the power 3 over 2 and we have our 2 over 3 from 0 to 1 so let's substitute the 1 and the 0 so that we can get our surface area we substitute in the place of y so pi over 18 multiplied by the 2 over 3 into 9 in the place of the y we substitute y to the power 4 plus 1 and this is the raised to the power 3 over 2 minus pi over 18 multiplied by 2 over 3 and in the place of that y we substitute the 0 so it's going to be 0 raised to the power 4 which is 0 and 0 multiplied by this 9 will be 0 plus 1 will be 1 and raised to the power 3 over 2 so our s will be equals to pi over 18 multiplied by 2 over 3 multiplied by 9 plus 1 raised to the power 3 over 2 minus pi over 18 and the less constant pi over 18 multiplied by 2 over 3 and that raised to the power 1 just be 1 and our s will be equals to 3,5631 so, so since this is area, surface area and you are not given any SI unit so we just use the unit squared so this will be our answer for question 6.2 if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below and if you find this video is useful consider subscribing liking and sharing this YouTube channel with your fellow mates